Hey guys, so I'm going to vent about a cunt who has a lower IQ than a pile of sand. So don't expect, you know, too much from her because literally she said that uh, men have sperm, the same sperm in their bodies for their entire lives. So, you know, we're not really giving her that much like room for any improvement if like that's already like how her brain thinks. So, you know, I understand if you, you know, get angry too. Basically, I had something um, really dark and vile and disgusting happen to me. So I go to the girl who has a lower IQ than a pile of sand. And I tell her what happened because she's my friend. She's my best friend, you know. This situation was dark and disgusting and, like, something sexual happened. And I've taken, like, nine showers. I took six showers that day, three showers today. Bitch, when I was depressed, I showered once a week. Like, obviously, this situation's bad. I go to her and I tell her, clearly, she, you know, she's not a girl's girl, women not supporting women. She doesn't care at all that this happened. I don't wish this to happen on her ever in her life, but obviously someone who hasn't gone through that isn't going to understand and someone who only cares about themselves isn't going to care and think that they have to deal with hearing you talk about this. If you get raped and talk about it to someone and they say, I don't want to deal with this, Clearly, there, <laughs> there's someone I do not want in my life. And then on top of that, like, me realizing that for the past 10 months, she's been a raging cunt who's so stupid and thinks that she's right about everything, but the stupidest stuff comes out of her mouth. Like, the sperm thing. Like, I really had to sit there and be like, yeah, yeah, that's so, oh my god, really? That's crazy, because I just didn't have the heart to tell her like you're the stupidest person i've ever fucking met like and you know that says a lot like <laughs> i swear even my ex-boyfriend like was smarter than her and that says a lot like and i i've never told her that like i've never told her like you are the stupidest person i've ever met so i don't know why i expected her to like care about me um but i thought you know that's like what people do when they're friends but i guess you know that's just <sighs> not her style you know her biggest problem is like she doesn't have any money for weed or she doesn't have any money for weed because she spends it all on weed and like her tire pops like that's her bad week like mom was getting raped so it's just like not it was just not the same you know um on top of that like me and her roommate have understood her stupidity like, and we just let her have it to her face. She can walk around all day thinking that she knows everything. And maybe that was our fault because we enabled somebody to be a raging bitch and not stand up for ourselves or stick up for ourselves and just let it happen. Roll our eyes, laugh and be like, huh, that was the bitchiest thing that she's like ever fucking said. But like, whatever, let's go smoke a bowl like it's like one of those things but i definitely regret not telling her like you are so ignorant and like so stupid and she's literally talking to someone who's my age and she's like 20 and i don't know how they do it like i don't know how they listen to her talk about things and not it's so hard not to laugh at her and I, that has been my last 10 months it's just like you're a cunt and you're so stupid but i'm not gonna say anything because i love you and then, of course, something happens, and she's like, oh, you made me really upset this weekend, and I just, like, can't deal with your midlife crisis. Um, honey, I really, I don't want to deal with this, and it's not a midlife crisis, it's a crisis. And trust me, if I didn't want to have to call you and tell you what fucking happened to me, I, I wouldn't have, because I wouldn't have had that situation happen. Like, obviously, I didn't ask for this, but clearly, you're just not a girl's girl, and you just don't support women and then on top of that it's like you're gonna tell me that i upset you this weekend when i came to your house and gave you birthday presents like that's not a transactional thing that's not my point it's like oh i give you presents so you have to think i'm a good person it's like i'm sorry if i said something or i was loud or like obnoxious or something but that should not surpass you being a supportive friend when i needed you like I'm sorry that this one weekend I inconvenienced you, but every single time I'm at your house, you inconvenience me by talking shit about somebody two feet away. So God knows you talk shit about me and you act like 
you just maneuver through life with, with if there's a problem I'm not gonna cry about it if there's a problem I'm gonna solve it like that's really great but you've never had an actual problem like oh your parents treated you like shit like that's it like uh, like unless you've never told me anything like girl you ain't got nothing to worry about so that doesn't mean that everybody just has to not worry about anything like it's just so crazy to me this girl's mentality and I besides her being a cunt and the whole thing over 10 months I never want to talk to her again because I'm gonna punch her in the face because there's no way that I had something bad happen to me like that and that's how she treats me like there's no I don't even need to talk to anyone else about it because I mean I'm talking to everyone on here but like in my own personal life I don't even need to tell anyone because they would all look at me and be like that's not a true friend hey I got raped ah I don't want to deal with this sorry like are you fucking kidding me like what do you have to deal with <laughs> I got raped. Ah, I don't want to deal with this. What do you have to deal with? What do you as a friend hearing a story from someone else like this? What would you have to deal with besides? Oh, I guess being supportive is just so hard. I'm so sorry. I asked you to be supportive. Oh my goodness. That's the craziest request. I cannot believe I would even put you through that. I am so sorry that me getting raped really, really gives you bad vibes. And that you can't, you literally can't even talk to me about it. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this and deal with me. Oh my goodness. I'm such a burden. And honestly, I should have known that she wouldn't care about me when the first time we stopped being friends. It was about, like, mental illness, and she, like, couldn't deal with that. Like, it's just a reoccurring theme that, like, other people's problems apparently means that she has to deal with them. <laughs> like, how does that even make sense? Like, you really can't listen to someone, like, vent or cry or, like, give them a hug. Like, because they're, like, are going through something. Like, that's really that much of an inconvenience for you. Hi. And I just love my nephew. Like, I've given him lots of hugs today because I've just, like, needed hugs. And I didn't even want to talk about this on my channel. I just, like, needed to vent because, like, there ain't no way, like, <laughs> there ain't no way this whole fucking week happened. Like, I just can't. One of my friends that I was talking to about this, he was like, every time you're crying to me, it's always about, like, somebody else. Oh, you want me to get that? Here you go. Yay. it's always about somebody else and they're like you seriously need to cut this person off because there's no way she's gonna treat you like that over like literally something that you did <laughs> why well, i raped myself like <laughs> like you know what i mean it's like it's she does not have any position in my life anymore after that because that's just a low grade human like that's just an inhuman inhumane thing to do like you know, like, it's just, like, there's no way, like, there's just no fucking way, like, I'm ever gonna see this fucking bitch again. And one person I feel really bad about in all of this is her roommate, because, like, she deserves a better friend. And she gets disrespected in her own house that she pays rent for. Like, girl, sit down. Like, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but, like, I pay rent here, too. But she never, like, sticks up for herself, because... This girl I'm talking about is really hard to, like, tell her she's wrong. It takes, like, a lot of effort, and she's always got something to say, and she always be twisting shit around. It's just crazy. Like, the very few times I've tried to tell this girl that she was wrong, it just completely backfired. So there's just, like, no point in just telling somebody who's that, like, egotistical or whatever. Like, you're wrong. Like, sorry, just fucking sit down for a fucking second. <laughs> So I just feel bad for her because she deserves a better friend and like she can't avoid her. She lives there. Like I was able to like come in and out, like take a week off from this girl. Like if she pissed me off, I was able to just like leave. 
like deal with it myself and be like wow that was like a really cunty thing that she just said to me but you know whatever like i love her i'll just see her next week like i'm able to do that but her own roommate has to like live with her <sighs> that's a headache and a half i just can't and like the biggest part is like she talks about immaturity as if like she she's the most mature person <laughs> I think a six-year-old is more mature than the girl I'm talking about. And she's probably smarter than her, too. I, I really want to see her on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I really, I really would pay money to see this bitch. She thought men have the same sperm for their whole life. You think she knows anything about, like, the capitals or the countries? Like, you think she knows anything about science? <laughs> I would pay so much money to see that. And if it was like a live audience where everyone could just laugh at her, I think that's what she needs. She just needs a whole group of people. And that's another thing no one in her life has told her. Like, you're stupid and you should sit down. Like, I don't know who you think you are, but no one has told her that in her life. So she, when she has a problem with Julie, she's not going to understand that she's wrong. Oh, poor girl. She's going to have a road awakening someday and someone's going to slap her in the face. God bless her. Wish her the best, but I don't think she's going to go that far in life. And that's okay. To each their own. Everyone has their own opinions. But she has a special place in hell for people who don't support victims, so. Girlies don't support girlies. That's no bueno. Jesus don't like that, so. Good luck. <laughs>